So we've hit a red letter day in the process of normalizing relations between the U.S. and Cuba. Secretary of State John Kerry is in Havana today to raise the flag at the U.S. Embassy, an embassy that hasn't been open in Havana since the early 1960s. Uh, this is an important day, and it ends really phase one of the normalization process, which is the full restoration of diplomatic relations between the two governments. But that's still a long way from full normalization, and in a way it just opens the door for phases two, three, and four of that process. And there are plenty of landmines in the road just ahead as the two countries try to move down that road. Uh, there won't really be full normalization until the economic embargo in Cuba is lifted. That won't happen until Congress agrees to go along. And there are some problems along the way on that front. Uh, there is the question of what happens to political prisoners in Cuba. The uh, US, members of US Congress think that there are political prisoners that need to be freed as part of this process. There there's the question of how Cuba treats uh, dissidents. Uh, U.S. officials have been reluctant to meet with dissidents recently because uh, the Cuban uh, government takes very seriously the idea that the U.S. should not be talking to political dissidents, to opposition figures inside Cuba. That's going to have to be resolved in some fashion. And ultimately, Cuba is going to want the return of Guantanamo Bay, the spot uh, on the Cuban coast where the U.S. has continued to maintain a military facility long after the Cuban revolution was over. So what we've hit today is a real milestone on the road toward normalization, uh, but the road ahead has got a lot of obstacles. I think it'll be months and probably some years before those are fully cleared.